there were multiple times we went over there and the exact same thing happened outcome yeah. happened where it was just like a, a terrible flight and we're just like what the fuck is going on right now welcome to season two of the allowed podcast in this season jen and henry break down the writing and recording of the latest allowed album apollo six since they've lived the majority of their lives in boston and miami bad language is liberally used so if you're listening at work and have issues with foul words like fuck, shit, and Ted Cruz, you've been duly warned. Have it! Okay, uh, okay so... Hourglass. Track five. The origin of the hourglass is unclear. And the end of side A. So, okay, so this is definitely the oldest track yeah. on the record. Yeah, um, this one predates the, uh, the album even. Yeah, I mean, this one, gosh, I mean, this was like, we actually had this song around the same time that um, we were working on Children of the Divine. Right, 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 right. Yeah, because we had already yeah. been, we'd been rehearsing it um, as a band. Um, around the same time as children like when we were at Wait, least did... well at least when we were still at bedrock when we were re when we were rehearsing when it, we were rehearsing yes. at bedrock when we were rehearsing it yeah yeah Um, so it's pretty, it's pretty old. We wrote it in Raleigh in North Carolina on it was a Christmas visit. 2017, yeah. Because we were visiting for Christmas. Um, my parents live there, my family lives there, and uh, we spent a few weeks there. So we brought some guitars. I think we had like just, again, like I work really fast. And I remember being on the plane and we had kind of been already talking about Alzheimer's because we have people in both our families getting that and just thinking about this idea of like time like kind of passing by or not having a concept of time when you get to that and it's you know you don't really think that it's about that when you hear the song but I that's <laughs> I, that's what I, had I didn't in mind. I didn't know that that's what I had in mind <laughs> and uh I kind of like we got in that night and I already kind of had for what you know I just already had a clear picture of what this was going to be like, um, what the song was going to sound like, what the chorus was going to be. Uh, so the next day when we sat in the garage, in my parents' garage, um, writing this track, the chorus, like, I think I'd written it the night before in the bedroom. Like, I just already had it. Um, you know, time can make you feel, uh, oh shit, how's Like a fading specter. Like a fading specter, make you lose your mind. Uh, Oh, how well, I'm, I'm dropping. There's no the place of shelter. There's no place of shelter, yeah. right? Your mind's no place of shelter. Yeah. You can't, you know, you you can't trust any of the things that you're. I mean, we can't trust memory anyway. But now you've lost it, and yeah. you don't even know that you've lost it. Time can slip away at a moment's notice Time can slip away when you lose 
lose your focus It's all been slipping away Keep on slipping away This was the storm The cadence every hour Revelously Goodbye living Yeah, you see, you realize, right? Like, I'm this talking is, about Alzheimer's, yeah. This is really interesting, and this, it's... I don't think I ever told you. No, that. well, what's what's funny to me about this is like in my mind, um, well, of, of all the songs on the record, I think this is the one. I mean, it, it was the one that we, was the most like together. Like we both like sat there and like yeah, it was, was like a the most collaborative. Yeah, it was like like Fan the Fear is like line by line all you know. Because like again, very, before the pandemic, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, and like the you know we harmonized like the whole way through yeah. pretty much, and yeah. you know, and uh, I thought like okay, well, there are nine songs that we wrote kind of like separately but this is the one that we were like completely whatever yeah. and like you telling me that I eyeball yeah yeah but you telling me that it's like even then we were just coming at it from completely <laughs> different yeah, fucking yeah. things no i know because like, there was another kind of yeah. storyline or, or like you know we were, we were kind of picking up on this uh relationship the uh, friendship that we had with this person that was informing a lot of the other lyrics yeah um and it was like specifically like the experience of like going to somebody's uh, i don't want to say too much yeah. but going to somebody's house for a couple parties yeah and it was really far away but like every time we went there something would get like out of hand and the couple that lived in the house would just start like arguing with each other but it's like yeah. one in the morning right you know and you're a little fucked up and you're, and you're just, just like, like i thought we were having a good yeah time. i thought we were having a good time what <laughs> is fucking going on darkness looms long You know, yeah. So like, you know, for, for me, and that's where I was like, well, I mean, from... this is where it's still like yeah. a disconnected feeling, right? Yeah. It's essentially this song kind of comes to down to a disconnected feeling and time flowing by without you really yeah. using it to full advantage. You're just repeating. You're in cycles. You're repeating. Yeah, yeah. Mistakes. Well, it's a certain repeating, madness. You know, yeah. Yeah. It's a certain madness. Yeah. Well, and I guess that, that's I guess it's the connection, the point of connection, because like, right. You know, there were multiple times we went over there and the exact same thing happened, outcome yeah. happened where it was just like a, a terrible fight. Yeah. You know, and like we're just, you know, and it's like not just us, but like other friends and we're just kind of like, OK, right. well, and like some people were like, yeah, this happens. And we're just like, what the fuck is going on right now? Yeah. I was like, why are we doing this? Uh, yeah. But yeah, it's like, you know, darkness looms larger as day begins to break. Uh, you know, and it's, it's just yeah. like that thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was always going to be a very ominous, very yeah. dark song. A drop D, like what the hell is that? Yeah, like, yeah. Know, I can't believe we fucking use that. And like, really, most of my guitar part is one relentless note over and over and over again. Great bass line from Charles again on this oh, one. Man. Great uh, Tomorrow Never Knows drumming uh, from Chris yeah. on this one. We like to ask, where do the summers go? No one knows. And then the bridge is kind of like, it, the bridge is completely different. It's really bright and poppy. And then we get really dark again. And then the end, the there's like an ascending horn line. that They kind of sound like keyboards, but it's actually trumpet and sax. Yeah. It is such a monster, and you know it's like the heaviest fucking thing we've like the heaviest thing we've ever done. Yeah. And by the time that we finish the record and we send the mixes off or ten the songs off to mix, it also had been like so old by that point that you do become a little disconnected, and you're just like, 
well, I'm sure it'll be fine and, you know, whatever, blah, blah. Yeah, because uh, there were moments where we weren't even sure if it was going to, like, make it, it on or not. it was end up on the record or not. Yeah. yeah. And, um, but we got the mix back and we were yeah. like, this song, this fucking song, yeah. like, just a beast. And and we did have the advantage that because we had rehearsed it. Um, yeah, like I think years it was ago. the first one, we had rehearsed it, yeah, because we were around time children. Again, this is pre-pandemic. Because of that, I don't even, it might have been the first one we recorded. Comeback Kid might have um, been the second one we recorded, the first one we wrote for I it. think, I think Comeback Kid was the first one, but then the next one was Hourglass. Hourglass, because so we were so like, this is already done, and we, we'd it, already we already We already had it. parts, we all had parts, yeah. we'd worked out everything, um, you know, and then that's also got um, the- uh, Oh, the bell. The bell, yeah, the bell tolling yeah. in, the, uh, in the solo. Also, the tempos on this one, we tempo mapped everything that, so that the click is like it start. The idea would be that it would start at one beat and then in different places it would just start speed up, up and speed up and speed up. And like it's not something you'll really notice, but hopefully you kind of feel the franticness as yeah. we go along. Um, that was the idea, right? I'm not, I'm not asking you to do math. It's more like you just feel how crazier and crazier it gets as the song goes along, right? As the descent into madness continues. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just such a beast, total bear. Again, I write these beastly songs, you know? Beastly. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah well, what's interesting to me about this too is like once we finished tracking like all the parts, I think this is where, I think by this point, and I'm, I'm talking like guitars and everything, right? Uh-huh. Um, we were just like knee deep in this record and like what it could be and- yeah. Um, I think this is like really where the possibility of like segues and stuff really started to like right. come into play, you know, because I, I think for me anyway, like early on, I was thinking like, man, this would be like crazy to have this like right after Morning Moon yeah, with this like kind of placid song and then it kind of gets frantic and then right. you have the ominous like feedback. Like, the feedback, right. In, so you like, know? you know, you've got the end of Morning yeah. Moon with the drums, the floor time that, you know, yeah. rolling. So Jago's doing some kind of drum thing, and then those drums from Morning Moon yeah. fade into the feedback, the ominous feedback from Hourglass. You know, so the whole first side, yeah. there are all these transitions and segues between the tracks. Yeah. So from there, because uh, I remember, uh, this is this might have been before I kind of broke through my writer's block thing, but thinking like, oh, okay, well, if we're doing segues, like let me try to write something consciously that will. Yeah. Follow right. this, and it was that song, uh, "Ghost at the Feast," uh, uh -huh. which you know it didn't it didn't which work didn't out. End up on the record. Yeah, yet. Uh, but yeah, it's like you know, like the thing with like the footsteps and everything, right. like walking outside and the door shutting of the car. But then they also, there was also the other idea of like possibly, instead of following it with that, following it with uh, the noise that roared in the space between worlds. Uh, which Another is that track that didn't make it.
Yeah, and I think there was like an idea of like doing it sort of like what they did on like what's the story of Morning Glory, where like they took a chunk, yeah, of like Swamp Song and like, like scattered split it. it up, yeah. So that was like another idea. Then like maybe like on an EP we'll have the full thing, but that didn't, you know. But it was None just like it was just like an interesting realized. thing to we me, where it's just like about now we like that, right? Yeah. We were starting to think like, oh, where how, how weird this, can we get with this shit? Right? How how you is know? this all sitting as an album, not just individual tracks? Right, 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 right. Let's just do a trial one and then tell me. I'm going to start your four bars before, and let's just see what happens. This we'll, we'll just call this a test run. How was that for you in your ears? The last thing I'll say uh, to me, with the because you mentioned the horns. Uh, the sort of personal challenge I had with this record because this is the first time like we had like six people like in the band like they yeah. were band members and in my mind the challenge was like not do a record like we did with Sprezzatoro with like the Muscle Shoals stuff but like have Vanessa and Elena like contribute to like every track yeah like beyond um, as many tracks as we could yeah and this to me was like the biggest challenge was like how do we fucking you know, in like a good way. Like, how do we make this work? Yeah. On this track, and I'm so glad that we got it on there because, like, when those just, horns just at the end there, at the, yeah, just yeah. at the end. But when those horns come in at the end, you know, because like to me, this like song is just supposed to like create like some like kind of an like anxiety, yeah, and yeah. like discomfort and just like right. some weird feeling. Right. And like once those horns like really come in and like everything's like speeding up slightly, it's just like what the fuck is happening right now? You know? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. exactly. You know, and it's You're going like, down the uh, yeah. The faucet hole, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, this party sucks. We gotta get out of here. These people are fighting. Bro, call this me person's got Alzheimer's. Call me an Uber. Get me out of the West Side. <laughs> <laughs> next episode of the allowed podcast i remember having like you'd have an angry reaction to something or just a very visceral yeah. whatever and then you'd be like and then you'd already be composing what you were going to post right. in your head before you even thought about posting it you're just like is this how my life works now apollo 6 is out now on vinyl cd and digital at allowed.bandcamp.com have a nice day <laughs>